so let's look at the next question from the uh, from cat 2021 slot 2 it is okay uh, about ta uh, of time and distance topic this question says that two trains a and b were moving in opposite directions their speed being in the ratio 5 is to 3 so let's make a diagram here these are the trains a and b so let's just train a okay. uh, so let's just train a here and this is train b here okay now they are uh, moving so let's say this is train a train b a speed of train a and b in the ratio 5 is to 3 so let's say speed of train a is 5x and its length is not given so let's assume length is l1 let's say speed of train b is 3x and its length is l2 now it says that the front end of the train so in situation one what has happened the front end of a crossed the rear end of b 46 seconds after the first uh, front ends of the trains had crossed each other that means after the front ends have crossed each other the front end will cross the rear end of b 46 seconds after this right that means from here to here it is a front end so from here to here it reaches in 46 seconds okay from here to here that means in this is through rear end of b so this distance the train a covers in 46 seconds so what i can say this that distance is equal to speed into time so what is distance it is covering so obviously train a is covering the length of second train that is it is covering it is cover it is in, in relative terms it is coming from here to here right from this position to this position so it has covering it is covering a distance of l2 but what is speed so since both the bodies are moving in a forward direction the speeds will get added up added up so 5x plus 3x and into time so time taken how much 46 seconds so L2 is equal to 8x into 46. So don't try to calculate the value because in the end, I need to find the ratio of length of train A to that of train B. Now it again says that it another it took another 69 seconds for the rear end to cross each other. So now what is hap what has happened here now? So this is the rear end of the train. This rear end has now reached this point. Okay, that is through the front end now, and this the train is like this now. Okay, the train is right now like this. If the train is like this. So that means rear end from this situation to this situation train has traveled how much 69 uh, seconds okay so now again i can say that again the second the second train now so see once rear end has crossed each other that basically means what in the next 69 seconds the train b traveled a distance equivalent to the length of train a in 69 seconds correct because now this is the front end we talked we talked about so front end of a has reached from this point to this point now what about train b so once the rear ends have crossed each other that basically means that at whatever situation train b was there in whatever situation train b was there okay from that situation i can say that the train b has traveled a distance equivalent to the length of train a in 69 seconds that means they let's say right now just again and make one diagram here let's say this was a this was the first situation the train one is here train b is here okay like that so train a and train b it has covered the front end are crossing each other uh, in that 49 second okay that's that's 46 second now after that once the front end has uh, crossed uh, the rear end of the train b so that means the now in second situation the train b is here like that and the train A has actually let's reach here. This is train A. Okay. This is the second situation. So now front end has reached the rear end. So this is the so front end from, from here from this point to this point. Okay. The train has traveled how much? Equal to the length of train B. That is L2. So train this A has from this point to this point, A has traveled L2. That's what I've written here. Now, what is the situation 3? It is given now that now the rear ends are crossing each other that means at whatever point that means now the situation is this is train a and this is train b so you see here while coming from this situation to this situation the train b now it is train b discovering right because the rear end of train b is at the front end of train a and now the rear end of train b is at the back end of train b train a so from this point to this point Train B has covered how much? Train B has covered a length equal to the length of train A. That is L1. Okay. So in second situation, I can say is again, distance is a speed into time. So L1, that is L1 is equal to, uh, again, speed is 8x 
and the time taken is 69 seconds okay in the second situation this is l1 so i need to find the ratio here so l1 by l2 will be equal to 8x into 69 upon uh, this uh, 8x into 46 okay this will get cancelled here this ratio is what is this 3 to 2 so 3 by 2 is the answer for this question okay that's how so you can easily make a make the diagram and understand right i just explain explain you once more from this point this is the situation one okay from this point to this point when the front ends have crossed each other then let's say the front end is here now so you, you can see train a has now traveled train a's front end has traveled from train b's front end to train b rear end okay so that means this is the length covered by front end of train a that is equal to the length of train b that is l2 from this point to this point l2 it is covered okay now similarly now once the rear ends are crossing each other now so now this is situation the because the rear ends are crossing each other so now if you see from situation 2 to situation 3 what has happened now the rear end of train b and front end of train a are aligned so train b has to cover completely this train a no that means train b will completely come here so in that case the rear i can see that the rear end of train b has traveled a length equal to the rear equal to the uh, length of train a that is it has reached from this point to this point okay so this is the length l1 so that's the funda here thank you and also guys the next combat is on 27th of february at 12 pm a uh, really good test where we get some you you get some new questions you get their solutions you get to judge yourself uh, at what level you're preparing among your peers that's very very important because at this point of time you don't want to give a two hour mock because a lot of your syllabus is not finished okay this is small mocks of this 60 minutes are very very important okay so this 60 minute small test will keep you on your on your toes you can judge your preparation level and apart from from that the great prizes to be won okay so all these are big motivation. So do give this combat guys. The enrollment link I'll put in description. Okay. You get a lot of scholarships from these combats. So do give this at uh, on 27th of February at 12 p.m. Okay. Thank you.